Gonna have our names under this. Hey, yo. Oh, they're off camera. So, yes. Rio versus Osprey. Falco and Corrin. I mean, Rio alone uh, plays many different characters, so. Yeah. But I, I think he. I think he, I want to say he prefers uh, Corrin to Falco in this matchup. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to teach me along the way. Oh, yeah, definitely. Really, yeah. There's still a lot I haven't really known about this. Okay. So it's always fun to commentate. Okay, cool, cool. <coughs> Another dude's Osprey, right? Playing Falco? Yeah, Osprey's playing Falco. Getting a few sparse laser hits, trying to find his way in. He actually jumps to avoid the grab. Getting some decent damage off of his grab and up air, or up throw. This seems they're both trying to find their footing. Rio almost dying off the top? I'm not sure. That's pretty close. Now... Both of these characters have projectiles, but Corrin has to be very careful, or rather Rio has to be very careful about using that projectile, because if Osprey reads it, yeah. he can easily reflect it and use that damage against her. Yeah. And on top of that, with the hits done, it gives him plenty of time to set up off stage, as if she's off stage for like a spike or whatnot. But then, it always comes in the situation of where the hitbox is placed, or the projectile is placed, and where it hits. Osprey's shield looking really small from that forward smash. We're coming down to neutral air. Fair. A back here from yeah, across the stage, taking him all the way out. He's at like 140 though. Oh, that. Oh, wow. Down for not enough to kill. Nair not catching either. Tyler's not fighting this. That's speaking Real nonsense. Real fighting his way in. Osprey trying to play defensively, trying to keep his stock as long as he possibly can. Throwing out two nares on his shield, but ultimately getting grabbed. Oh, oh the, the stage, stage spike. Yikes. <laughs> Real finally catching that up, uh, the up B. Yeah. understood the purpose of reflector in the middle of combo. Pretty sure there's some use to it. I just have to ask Osprey about it or something. Yeah. I don't. I don't see it a lot to be honest. With you. Yeah, you really watch. don't. I don't play Paco though. <laughs> yeah. It's not normally. It's not normally something that you see aside from being used against projectiles. True. I can understand if it's like used for a trip because it does trip. Oh. oh. Wow. Trading hitboxes the very last possible moment that Ryo could have even touched the ledge and Osprey stopped it with a spike. Yeah. Solid stuff. So when did Ryo stop playing like Ike? I guess when Corny came out? Um he hasn't ultimately stopped playing Ike. It's so just more of sometimes. it's just that he pushed Corrin to be more of right, I guess primary. Yeah. Because Corrin's much faster and I guess her combos are ultimately better. But then you have the unmatched strength of Ike that can just dash attack you off stage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, have, they both have the fair going, right? Like the, the fair spam kind of thing. Yes, definitely. Oh, a lot of space. Nice. <laughs> now with Roy, Osprey has to be a little bit more careful because Roy's speed is much faster than Corrin's. Yeah. Considering that... I think Corrin's walk is, you know, Corrin's runs much slower than much char many characters. Osprey's forward are catching Rio on his death, on his neutral there. Knocking him off stage. Good execution of patience from both players, trying to find their way in. 
either from sparse hits, single hits, or even just a single opening from them being uh, negative on block. Osprey is holding a decent percent lead against Rio right now. And also safe control. The back air is actually going to take out Rio pretty quickly. It's pretty early. I mean, from across the stage. Yeah. <laughs> also trying to get something out of the double neutral there, but doesn't get very much. But after it, an up throw gets two up airs. Was detrimental. Yikes. Yikes. For the hard time to the dare. Who's best of five now? Yeah, since this what winner's final is best of five. Is this a. Okay. I mean, a winner's semi. Yeah, yeah, winner's. Okay. Not winner's final. <laughs> Sorry, Osprey has taken them a couple games before. Yeah. That's definitely the truth. Osprey has. Over the time that I've seen Osprey playing this game, he has definitely come up from being someone that was just taking like smaller names uh, in this city to people like Rio, uh, uh, Wonderbread, Soul. Is this Wonderbread here or no? Uh, no, he's not. I wish he was though. His little Max is a lot of fun to watch. Oh, the egg, there it is. Trying to go for the <laughs> sacred for combo. The, for the fans. Always for the fans. <laughs> Yeah, with the mixed bag that Rio is and all of the characters that he has under his arsenal, he has to know so many matches just to fight against him alone. Yeah. Because he has his little tricks with every individual character, right, especially right. with, like, a character like Ike, you wouldn't think would have that much advanced tech, but, like, I want to say, oh, Ooh. although I easily could be very wrong. Yikes. I know one of his more advanced techs is, like, an auto-canceled, um, it's like his auto cancel quick draw from like a certain height. Really cool looking. There it is, the helicopter. Rio not getting anything for that down air. With the up air? No. Ooh. Not falling with the, uh, the forward pair. Osprey getting some sparse hits in that neutral air. Oh no. Wow, you gotta be careful of that falling back air. Rio goes for it quite a bit, but it's, he seems to catch you whenever you're not expecting it. Yeah. Trying to go for the off stage. Osprey going for off stage plays with lasers and air. Oh. I'm pretty sure he expected <laughs> Osprey to uh, stop shielding at that point, but he did not, and he got punished for it. 